while surviving a plane crash. Tonight, we're learning more about the East Greenwich couple on board the flight that crashed into the water in Narragansett Bay yesterday. The pilot telling us she's grateful they both made it out alive. Lauren Burrell joins us in studio with their story. Well, Sheena, the husband and wife are both pilots. Alicia Larson says she grew up around planes, but neither of them have ever encountered an emergency like this. She says the training they've received prepared them, and it's what saved their lives. There was a moment where I was like, I'm not sure if we're going to make it. Alicia and her husband, Paul, feeling lucky to be alive today after their single-engine aircraft crashed in the Narragansett Bay. And then I'm like, nope, we're not going to die today. We're going to make it. We'll just keep swimming. Larson says they were flying back from a day of travel around Massachusetts with plenty of fuel. They were about a half a mile away from the Quonset runway when she realized the engine was not working properly. Sought to add a little bit of power to gain a little bit of height uh, on my approach, and I had no power. So I, there was nothing to be had. Um, so I ran my checklist, uh, my engine out checklist, as, as quickly as I could, getting through about 75% realizing there was we weren't going to make the runway. Calling out a May Day to Quonset Tower when they braced for impact. Her husband unlatching the door before they hit the water. She says it's possible that's what saved their lives. You know, I definitely asked God to watch over us and help us and thanked him that we were even like crawling out of this plane onto the wing was kind of amazing that we, neither of us were injured. Fight or flight instinct kicking in and leaving their belongings behind except for her phone, calling 911 to alert North Kingstown emergency crews. The couple had one thought in mind, stay together as they tried to swim to the runway. The DEM came to the rescue along with the Coast Guard and North Kingstown Fire transported them to get checked out at Rhode Island Hospital. Both walked away with minor injuries returning home Saturday night. Coming in the door to your home and seeing um, all five of my kids and my son-in-law definitely gave a, a overwhelming sense of gratitude. Larson says this incident will not stop them from continuing an activity they love. Now, Larson tells us she's still not sure exactly what caused the plane to malfunction. The National Transportation Safety Board says once the plane is recovered, if it is substantially damaged, they will investigate further. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.